Hey guys, this is Andrew from CMO Apps, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move a text field out of the way when the keyboard is presented on your iPhone when the user wants to type in something, as you can see on the screen. So, first of all, I've just created a new Xcode project with a single view application. All I've done so far is set the background color to gray and added this text box here. So to start off in the bottom right, I'm going to add some constraints like so on the bottom left and right. So this way it's always at the bottom of the device and it takes up the whole screen size. Now that I've done that, hold in the control key and drag it to our view controller. And you want to connect the outlet up as a delegate. And the reason for this is you need that to be able to move it out of the way. Once we've done that, let's go to our view controller and add in the code to move that text field out of the way. So to do that, we'll create a new function called func move text field. And we're gonna have some arguments for it. So the text field, which is UI text field, this is going to be the text field that we want to move out of the way. The next one is the move distance as an int, and this is how far we want to move the text field. And the next one is up, which is a boolean. So because you need to move it up when the keyboard appears and down when it disappears, this boolean will basically tell it whether to move it up or down. So we've got this function here, and this is going to be the one to move our text field. And I'll just correct that from a capital I to a lowercase. So to do that, we first of all go let move duration equals 0 0.3. And that's going to be the time it takes to move the text field out of the way because we want it to appear smoothly for the user because if you move it straight away out of the way, it disappears and reappears in another spot. It doesn't look too great. So we're going to animate it using this. So the next one is let movement equals colon CG float equals CG float brackets. We'll do up question mark move distance then colon minus move distance. So if you haven't seen this before, this is an inline if statement. And basically, if up is true, then it will set the move distance to be whatever move distance is. Otherwise, it will set move distance to be the negative of itself. So this way, if it's true, we'll move it up. Otherwise, move it down, which is negative move distance. The next one will do is UIView.BeginAnimations. The animation ID will name it animate text field. And the context is nil. The next thing we need to do is UI view dot set animations begins from current state to true. And what this these two lines is basically doing is setting up the text field to move out of the way in an animated way. The next one will do is UI view dot set animation duration and the duration is going to be move duration. So that's how long it takes your animation to complete. Finally we'll do self dot view dot frame equals cg rect offset the rect will be self dot view dot frame x will be zero because that's on a horizontal axis and dy is on a vertical axis which is up and down so that will be movement and then finally we'll do ui view dot commit animations so this function here animates a movement up or down depending on if up is true or false 
and it will move it to that move distance. So to make it move, after UI view controller, do a comma and add a UI text field delegate. And then after that, we're going to add a function text field did begin editing. And in this code, we'll do move text field. We'll pass in the text field. Move distance, we'll do minus 250. And up is false. Sorry, up is true because we're moving that upwards when you begin editing the text field. So that's when the keyboard appears. So this is when the keyboard shows. Then finally, when the keyboard is hidden, I'm going to add a function func text field did and editing. And we'll copy this whole line here and change one thing which is up to false so that will move it down. And finally, I'll add in one more function, which is funks text field should return. And we'll do text field dot to resign first responder and return true. So I'll just run the code now to show you what it looks like and then I'll walk you through those three functions that I just made explaining how they work. Okay, so we've got our text field here. If we tap on it, we can see it moves out of the way of the keyboard. Type in something, go return to close the keyboard and it moves back down. So going back to our code, the UI text field delegate, what it does is it adds these functions to our class that we couldn't use before. And these are special functions. This first one always runs when it, you start editing any text field at all. So that calls our move text field function. It passes the current text field we're editing into it sets the movement distance and up to true so it moves it up and out of the way of the keyboard the next function did and editing pretty much does the opposite so when you finish editing a text field it will then move it back down when the keyboard disappears and finally text field should return return that makes it so when you press this return key on the keyboard it will resign the first responder, which is this keyboard. So that will remove that keyboard and return true to get it out of the way. So that's how you move a text field out of the way in your iPhone app. And you can download the source code below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.